欢迎来到中国。And that mean welcome to China. It's a nice place to have math class. Our lesson today is a numerical expression, and we will explain it directly with an example from our daily life. Five graders, are you ready? Let's go. I'm here in Chinatown, where I can taste some delicious Chinese food. Let's see those two gentlemen if they have famous Chinese fried rice bowl. 您好，欢迎光临。你好 ，How much for one fried rice bowl, please? Fifty-four yen for one bowl. I found in my pocket two hundred yen. So I decide to buy two bowl, and now I'm thinking if the rest of my money is enough to complete my trip to Chinatown. So let's write and evaluate the numerical expression to match what happened. So here are my two hundred yen and two bowls of fried rice mean fifty four two times. It will be like two hundred minus fifty four multiply two. To evaluate this numerical expression, do what between parentheses first, then subtract, and I still have 92 yen. Numerical expression represents a signal value. It consists one or more numbers and operation. Numerical expression does not have equal sign. That would make it an equation. When we write numerical expression, there are key words. So here are some familiar words. Words mean addition are plus the sum of increased by more than added to total of. Words that mean subtract are minus the difference of decreased by less taken from fewer than. Words that mean multiply are product of multiplied by times double or twice triple. Words that mean divide are quotient of divided by shared equally split into groups out of. Let's write some numerical expression. The sum of four and two divided by three. That mean four and two should be added first. Then I divide the answer by three. I need some parentheses around four and two. This is numerical expression. Let's have another example. There are many ways to write this expression. Since there is no parentheses, so subtraction is done first. We can say it as the difference of twelve and eight added to three, or twelve minus the sum of eight and three. The product of six and two added to the quotient of nine and three. So we use the parentheses. But since it is multiply and divide, we can write it like this also. The conclusion. To evaluate the numerical expression, you must remember, work the problems in this order: first the parentheses, then exponent. After that, multiplication or division. Finally, addition and subtraction. Here we back to Chinatown, and now I'm not afraid because I understand the numerical expression and how to evaluate it. But I still have a small problem: I can't speak Chinese. I hope you understand and enjoy our lesson today. This is your host teacher Reem Ghazal. Till we meet again, stay safe. 再见，孩子们。